<laughs> Am I the asshole for following through on my threat of divorcing my wife if she didn't start taking care of herself? I'm 49 years old. My wife is 48, and we have been married for 23 years. When I first met my wife in college, she was energetic, fun, and simply radiant. Her love, life, her love of life was infectious. We would go hiking, eat at restaurants, go to the theme parks, take walks on beaches, and everything else. We both love the outdoors. About three years after we got married, my wife started changing. Instead of going out, she began to become something of a couch potato. She gained weight, started sleeping less, stopped cooking, and frankly became kind of a slob i put i put up with this for years i started cooking on most nights and i had to hide vegetables in her food for her to eat them simplito negro i started doing the dishes every night because i knew she wouldn't when i went grocery shopping i i abstained from buying my favorite unhealthy foods because i knew she would devour them within hours i tried to encourage her to start taking care of her health nothing changed 10 years ago i finally reached my breaking point i sat her fat ass down and gave her an all the <laughs> improvising go ahead <laughs> start, start start taking care of your health because if it falls apart i'm not going to be here to take care of you she was very upset with me saying in sickness and health my ass repeatedly but i told her i didn't care again nothing changed i stayed active i go jogging every day and maintain a healthy weight but over the past five years she has reached a point where she frankly kind of disgusts me at times it takes her five minutes or more to get up from it, her typical position of laying down on the sofa she has started waddling hunched over she's 48 but she honestly looks 10 years older and acts 25 years old a month ago i finally got her to go to the doctor another one of her reckless behaviors is never going to another one of her reckless behaviors is never going in for checkups they discovered that she's on the verge of type 2 diabetes has a mild case has a mild case of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and her blood pressure is concerningly high Naturally, after receiving such news, on the way home from the hospital, she swung by a fast food restaurant and got some food and a shake. The other day, I sat her down and told her that I simply refused to be a caretaker for someone who's not even 50 yet. I told her I would be filing for divorce, but left how, but left how we do it up to her, either, at, either through lawyers or through a cooperative sp uh, splitting of assets she's absolutely furious with me and my parents seem to be on her side am i really the uh, am i really the asshole here no <clears throat> no no not when you gave her an opportunity and told her you know you right. expressed to her like look i'm not taking care of a fucking cripple and you're doing this on purpose you I know agree. you feel it and you're not even you don't you your your lifestyle is reckless and it's like you don't even want to be alive anymore right you know that's you know you're not even taking care of your own fucking health like he just want her to be fucking healthy and she like fuck you i'm gonna waddle my ass on you know down to wendy's and get on some of these uh new uh chicken dogs you know i agree man um you know people got people are different about what they're gonna put up with in the relationship right. and right. what they're not and he put it out there and more importantly he dealt with that shit over a decade he watched this yes. bitch, he watched this bitch turn into a ball of chewing gum and she didn't want to do anything about it. And this is what the ramifications are. That and sickness and health shit is out the door. You know, and that means if something should happen, not you, you, you purposely uh, make yourself sick and become yes. a burden on somebody. So, yes. yeah, nah, man, he's not the asshole, man. She's the asshole for not taking herself to the gym and, you know, incorporating some, some vegetables. Not even... And some, not even the gym, like going to the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> like you got to do, especially as a female, like, God right. dang, you really ain't <clears throat> going for your, your checkups. All you got to do is like, you're really trying to check out on me. You don't even want to be with me because you right. are, you know, you on, you know, you stranded on death row right it, now. It take her five minutes to get up from laying down. Jeez. That bitch oh, that's rolling. She's doing what that he, roll to I, the side. When I cook, I got to hide vegetables in the food. Yeah. Like she a baby, <laughs> man. <laughs> A fucking dog? I gotta hide the medicine in the banana, you know, and feed it to the dog, you know. She think what it's fuck. She think it's mayo. What's mashed up cauliflowers and shit? Right. <laughs> the sandwich. I gotta sneak funny. veggies on my lady. Right. Let alone that's just we talk about the health side of it. What about even him like trying to you know be intimate with her? 
Oh man, I'm trying to roll all that over. Man, now if you, if yeah, just, you just just turn on your side for me, please. If you like big women, then that's your thing or whatever. If you decide to stay, but that's what he wasn't dealing with. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you ain't the chick he married. No, you somebody else. Yeah, that that's 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 a you know you 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 that's a breach of contract. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. Talk about sickness and health. <clears throat> you when not when you making yourself sick. You said sickness and health, not thickness and health, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, like don't none of your clothes fit. Right. None. And Shit. You still wearing workout pants, big motherfuckers? No. Them Lululemon yeah. stretch like a motherfucker. Yeah, he said five minutes to get up off that damn couch mm -hmm. like yeah. she 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 pacing herself you know trying to build up steam to get up off that motherfucking couch like okay rocking back and forth there we go yeah, it's man. coming it's coming i'm up now what we <laughs> doing no <laughs> <laughs> he said leaving the doctor we stopped at a fast food joint he shouldn't have let her i said bitch if you don't drive straight with a shake right <clears throat> but you finna yeah, get man, that's, that's 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 bad business, man. What I like what do you what do you think is going on with the with the woman, man? You think that's some you know, some depression and all kind of shit, other type of factors that's 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 you know, fucking her up like that? I think it's depression. I think it's yeah, I think it's depression, man, because most yeah. most most women wanna hold on to that figure, especially when they age and shit. That's that's hard for a man. That's that's yeah. hard for a woman to lose that beauty and you know Lose them looks. You know, most women got what from eighteen to what thirty, which is that's it. That eighteen that's it. to thirty, you got about twelve years, baby. That's your and dudes. That's when they and that's when they declared uh what what, what type of pregnancy if they get uh geriatric geriatric uh, pregnancy. Yeah, that they, I think it's thirty five. Yeah, and, and I'm assuming shit the way he was talking it's like they don't even have kids. Right, it ain't like she had a couple babies and then the body didn't bounce back. She just said. I got this motherfucker. Fuck it, dudes. We could pull forever. If I yeah. man, let me lose my weight with this gray shit, and I put that sponge, <laughs> that pick, and that sponge on my shit, well, I can go get me a young bitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that. <laughs> I was never, you know, I was like older women, man. But you know what I'm saying? You know that? Nah, man. I I feel bad. Imagine you just having twelve years, yeah, to catch yeah. a motherfucker, and it's yeah. it's it's more you than it is them. Mm -hmm. Knowing these cats got an appetite. My mama told me, she said, boy, when you start when you start having sex, it's going to be addictive. She wasn't lying. Every yeah, weekend but... was the pursuit of cookiness. <laughs> Just think about, man, the, the sex has to be non-existent. No, well, yeah. well, think about it, man. First of all, the way he explained it, man, she probably oh, yeah, got older. Yeah. Considering she don't even go to the doctor. So I'm assuming she don't bathe. If she just oh, sit yeah. there and it take her five minutes, man, you can't get past that funk smell. Bitch a female put, funk? Bitch, put this loomy on. <laughs> Ain't enough in the world, man. Put this mando on your back. This loomy and this mando. Nah, Shit. Bro. nah. She's sitting around 24-7 just Camera eating. Nice. And, and to the point where he said he can't buy shit he like. That's what I'm saying, man. Imagine you ain't even imagine you can't get no Pop Tarts because you know this bitch gonna sneak behind your back. Better get yeah. that. Better put them in a jar and go get that other motherfucker. And tighten you, can't that have, up. you can't have handles in the house no more. Nothing. You know, it's no gone. blue bell ice cream, man. Cause none of that. All shit. You know, that's you, sad, man. She got. He, he, he gave her, you know, a heads up. Like, look, man, you you teetering on some shit, right? You know, and uh, <clears throat> I know old man had a situation like that with a little certain young lady that we know. I meant to ask you about. It. I saw a photo of her, your your almost wife out here. Uh, yeah, uh, she got a kid now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, she was okay. pretty than a motherfucker, though, man. God you know she watched the show, huh? Yeah, she watched the show. She don't know who it is. Not her. Not her. The other chick. Yeah. She's pretty than a not motherfucker, her. though. The other chick. They got the son. Yeah. You for real, Katie? You for yeah, real? The other chick. No, the other chick. Oh shit. <laughs> the other chick. Yeah, the other one. <laughs> yeah, it's the other the one, one that lived close to me. The dark you know. skin one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that one. Right. There you go, Buford. That one. That, that one. She might, be, one. she might be big. She ain't an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> See, you starting shit. <laughs> you starting shit. 
You starting a gang of shit. Edit that shit out. This whole section gone. It was funny. Gone. Gone. You did it. I wouldn't even talk about that. She's still, yeah, she's still pretty than a why, motherfucker. That's why we don't name names. We ain't talking about her. She, she's fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm she's, talking about, I was talking about the dark skin one. She, she crazy. The dark skin one. She wonder, crazy. You yeah, know the dark skin crazy. You, yeah. Yes. Wonder where she's a meter crazy. made. Yeah, that one. She's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, man, back to the smelly chick. <laughs> hey, this shit is hilarious. What is this nigga trying to clean some shit up? Look, that laugh is going to happen. The one you think we talk about, Maddie Chu. Yeah. I was talking about the yeah, dark skin, baby. The other one. Exactly. The one that's not the TV. <laughs> You motherfucker. I would, you know, man, <laughs> trying to oh, cover my boys, man. man. Yep. There we go award. them numbers. We award. There go them numbers, man. Yeah. Was well, this whole segment they about to make? <laughs> he had to answer the phone just now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. You disrespectful oh, ass. Shit. No. No, no. Your cousin act like he ain't fat. <laughs> <laughs> That's just it, man. There's too many players on the field, man. Too many yeah, players. Too many on the players, field. man. You're a player, baby. You know? That's all. Too many players on the field. Yeah, but yeah man. man I, that 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 could be a deal breaker. Definitely. Yeah, man. And, um, this, this, when she yeah. just shut everything down and don't want to take care of herself and just like fuck everything. Yeah, that's that's mm-hmm. that's bad business. But that's real and, shit. Cause you know, me and my wife had those conversations. You be like, baby, you know. You got to take care of it. And I'm like, all right, yeah, baby, I'm, I'm back at the gym and all of that shit. That's that's real, mm-hmm. man. And and your significant others do get concerned. You know what I mean? I can see why he feels that way about it. Yeah, he gave her a heads up. He's like, what'd he say? He, he gave her, what, 10 years? Yeah, shit. more than that, like 15. Fuck. She yeah, man, come on. Bit. Yeah, she she doubled down. Oh, no pun intended. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done, gentlemen. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> the fuck I'm double done. down, man. <laughs> Cap, hey, man. Oh shit, man. Uh next week, man, I'm out of town. So I yeah, y'all go ahead and rock the funky joint. Uh all right. Yeah, I I won't be around. Maybe we'll do a merch instead, man. All right. Cabernet Sauvignon. Les mm-hmm. Les Boussons. Yes, sir. Les Boussons? How was it? It was, it was good. It was good, family. Good, good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you again for another one. Y'all some motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Y'all some bastards. Uh, yeah. You said it. Love you all started. the subs. Love all the subs. Thank y'all. That's why we don't name names. We just talking in general. <laughs> Bitch, you're smart. Don't tell me we ain't <laughs> talking about that. Man. No, I, I said we were talking about the big meter maid, the dark skin babe. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Right. But he talking about I ain't about never dated no meter maid, nigga. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> just shut up. El Negro. <laughs> Negro Simplitos. <laughs> Oh my God! Shout out to the family. Shout out to oh, the family, motherfucker, man. man. Love y'all, man. Love you too, Peace. brother, man. Peace. <laughs> Peace. Hey, Cuddy, man. I'm sorry, man. I, I didn't mean to call you simple, man. I didn't mean to. <laughs>